Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at RIP Next Generation. Uh, RIP Next Generation is for IPv6, and basically it's going to uh, allow us to run RIP on an IPv6 network. So, RIP Next Generation is... Um, not too difficult to set up here. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at just how to set up basic peering between, uh, you know, three different routers running a RIP next generation. Uh, we're going to take a look at how to configure the routers to verify uh, that, you know, the neighbors are up and that we're learning the routes uh, to all the different neighbors. Um, so again, we're just going to, in this lab, we're going to look at how to set up RIPNG and just look at if there is any at all any differences here. So what we'll do here is we'll just start out with our addressing. We're going to use the aggregate global of 2001, 12, 12, 12, slash 64 network here between router 1 and 2 and down here between router 1 and 3 we're going to use 2001 13 13 13 slash 64 here so again basically what we're going to do here in uh, is basically do some um, simple uh, RIP NG tasks. We're going to set it up and just basically uh, configure it, do some show commands, and um, you know we'll leave some of the more difficult tasks, you know, like uh, filtering routes or summarization, stuff like that for another uh, RIP NG lab. Again, so let's go ahead and uh, get into the routers here and uh, take a look. So what we're going to see here is just a, a couple of uh, different um, differences right off the bat here with RIPNG. Um, you can configure it at the interface level, where you're putting the interface into the, you know, uh, routing process. Whereas in you know uh, RIP version two and one, you're just doing it um, at you know under the global configuration under you know the router um, I'm sorry router configuration mode here but what we're gonna see here in RIP NG is that you can actually enable it under the at a per interface basis under the interface too so pretty cool Uh, same thing here with RIP NG as you know uh, all the previous versions of RIP it's got a hop count that cannot exceed 15 or else the router will mark it as inaccessible. <laughs> <laughs> 